50 rolling, that shit reek. Rich protect, hopefully. Shooting the cut, so please don't creep. Money come in like Jeff it flip. It flip. Who that nigga say you run this strip? Nigga a bitch, nigga a snitch. Whole time niggas ain't got no sticks on God. Nigga push up to the goddamn spot, don't make it how we in the spot. Huh, yeah, bro, working the pot in pieces, hitting this shit, don't stop. Huh, yeah, we trend to top, yeah, walking sacks, I don't want our cop. Huh, yeah, she blocked my shot, but now I'm lit, she want my cop. Huh, all I know is guap, man, fuck that, love my heart on lock. Huh, all the And we back, man. Yeah. Let it swing a bit, and today we got podcast number what's it five? Six. Nigga, uh, we starting all over, man. We over. We <laughs> oh, season, oh, two. Yeah, no, season, season two, season two. Yeah, season two. Ah, season two. That's cool. Yeah. I was gonna say oh oh one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really what it. It could be oh oh five, but right? But yeah, man. So we finally back, man. You know, we gonna start off just talking about why we been missing. Yo, oh, there's been too much shit going on, man. I, I feel like adult and it's adult. Yo, this nigga, this nigga turned into a fucking a nigga that just leaves America. Yeah. You know, like, uh, two yeah. Yeah. My, my little brother over there, man, he stayed in the military, man. They call him. The fuck every, that two, two, man. every two weeks. <laughs> nigga, you can come for him, nigga, I'm coming for you. You can take care of this bitch. Nah, I think. Like, I was going for two weeks. He was going for two months. No, I was gonna lie. I was only going for three weeks this time. Yeah. But yeah, man, you know, in the summer, true, everybody was busy, everybody was hey, getting oh, to it. So what the fuck was you doing? I was, you know, somebody will get to me. But this nigga over here, man, England, man, like, France, Germany, Belgium, whatever. Yeah, this nigga over here, military, every fucking other two a week. His is every month, though. Yeah, this is awesome. Once a month. So basically, y'all two, y'all ain't got no excuse. You don't want us to sit here, bro. They could yeah, yeah, put, they could put the room. YouTube on uh, the back. I was real running. We've been here dying, just waiting for these two to come back, man. That ain't have to wait. <laughs> we can't carry it without you guys, bro. Nah, yeah, I think one thing we got, a problem we got, we like having everybody here when we record. Yeah, yeah, bro. But we're gonna have to, right, bro. yeah, we're gonna have to start. I mean, they did videos when I wasn't here, and we did videos when he. Yeah, we felt and naked. And, dri- and I was yeah. gone for six months, and they did it without me. So See, I'm pretty I sure. Like, you you had no choice, yeah. no choice though. Yeah, yeah. Six that months was, is crazy. Yeah, that, that was an amazing time. Man. I nah, guess, man. I gave you that excuse. Nah, but yeah, shit. Six months, nigga. It was three months. It was six. Oh shit, man. Oh, he left in the beginning of what's name? He came back in probably September. Yeah. Nah, it was four months. Five what months. Five months. months. Yeah. But, but yeah, and niggas got school and shit that be taking up a lot of time. Niggas yeah. got jobs. Work, yeah. All that other shit. So yeah. Teacher punishing me while assignments, man. Yeah, but we finna be, we finna get back on the ground. We say this every time, but shit, we serious. Oh, hopefully this, not hopefully. This is going to be we serious, bro. Yeah, serious. I think we came up with a new little plan, man. For all the reactions, we're going to be on live. We're going to get them out there. And then whoever's not on live, we're going to drop the clips for y'all so I could be able to watch them. See, that's how we're going to lock in. Yeah, that's yeah, how we're going to lock in. That's going to make our job way easier. We're going to lock in with the... Uh... Patreon. Patreon. Oh, yeah, yeah, Patreon. Patreon too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, those we can't do on live. We're going to have to just record them. Yeah, no, no, we could do a Patreon video online, but we can't drop the full live. Oh, uh, yeah. We can't, we can't publish the live. Least, yeah, so. but shit, let us know what videos on Patreon you want us to react to, shit like that. And yeah, man, we, we finna come back, man. But today we're just gonna have a cool little podcast. This is, yeah. We welcome it back. We got a couple of questions. We'll have some guests on, man. Yeah, we have a guest. Probably next episode we're gonna have some guests. If y'all want, tell us if y'all rather uh, male or female mm-hmm. or other, whatever. But you can't be jealous of what you know, man. I feel like us four, we all have different perspectives and shit. Yeah. But we're reasonable. Mm. So, you know, when guests it's come here, it's a mixed it's a mixed. when guests come here and they lose their mind, it's like more of a balance. Because if they lose their mind, we're all balanced. That, that out. It's funny, I actually think he's lying. We got to shake some sense. We very, uh, <laughs> different. That's what I said. We, no, nah, but we, but we all, but I feel like even though you could say we all reasonable, mm-hmm. when it comes to some subjects, we're not reasonable. No, definitely not. But that's, that we all is different like, that. like the way he think about something, I'm probably like, hell. <laughs> <laughs> or when you think about something, look at Yeah, like he thinks we should beat women. I think we should beat women. He lost his whole mind. He lost his whole mind. Yeah, cut that out. He lost his mind. This nigga's lying. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, man, we just playing with but yeah, man, he's just playing. He has, he's he has to playing. reiterate. Let's start off with some current. I'm, I'm too little. little. I'm too little. Yeah. They beat my ass. He nice to get my ass beat. But uh, yeah, so we're going to start off. We're going to talk about Rich Homie Plum. Yeah. Rich ass and all. Oh. Can we play a trivia? I ain't going to lie. I man. do it for my dad. I do it for my mama. Them long nights, I swear to God, I do it for the come on. Hey, I'm on a BB on my chest and then jungle. Hey, money. Hey, man, what was, you at, where was you at when that song came out, man? I'm telling you, man, that was, that was like a good time in life. Bro, if you, from our era, you already know how important him, y'all, was dog. Like, that, that was 2015, yeah. 2014. 
You know, I was never really a fan of him, though. I don't know why. Yeah, me either. Uh, no, no, me because it's 2015. To me, because I mean, me, the reason why I was never like, really a fan of him, I've been doing some music, but it's just this shit he used to do. Like, he just wasn't crazy. He was on drugs, too. Yeah. I, 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 was I, was on, I wasn't on social media enough to know that he was a fucking. Nah, he was a drug dealer. That's because he had his videos just that wild lean everywhere, nigga. When he, when, I remember when they said that he went to he went to uh, high school with Lil Durk. I was like, nah, that's fire. Well, so when did Future come, uh, Future come out? Mm, nigga, so I mean, nigga, nigga, middle school. 2004? Yeah, he's been rapping way yeah. before yeah. all of yeah. But he wasn't lit until probably like... 10. Yeah. Maybe he could have probably had a hit in 08, but I don't know. <laughs> Shit, because I was sweating. That nigga was 40. I was like, seven. yeah, he's 40 dropping. Yeah. Shit, he is 40? Like yeah, you probably... He's probably like 40, yeah. 40 Oh, he's 40, 40 exactly. He turned 41 this year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so. 2003, actually, when he's been um, making music. Yeah. Oh, future? Yeah, 2003. Yeah. See, that leads to the next question, right? So, mm-hmm. why y'all feel like rap is falling off? <clears throat> falling off? But niggas, like, fucking yeah. not the same. Numbers. Yeah. Hits, numbers. They don't uh, hit number one no well, more. Well, I feel like the reason why uh, rap is falling off is because too, too much people coming out with the same exact sound misses. It's like too much people's doing the same sound. So they drowning that not drowning. What's the word? Like uh So Brace is saturated. Yeah, saturated yeah, literally. Like same thing with same thing with like uh like how people start to say about uh, podcasts and shit, like just too much people does it. That's yeah. why I, like, the clothing so brands and yeah. all that shit. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's two things that the, the reason why I think the first thing is is like right now, like music is not about the music, it's really about like the personality and shit. Yeah. And, 
And then the second thing is just like niggas' attention span is just mm-hmm. sh- yo, it's TikTok like, fucked up. It's yeah, TikTok fucked up. Yo, but now matter of fact, another reason why I would say that shit too. That's probably the number one reason. I'm really honest is because you could just drop a song, but it's quick for somebody to make another one to take. Like it's lately, I've been noticing a hit will come out, then two months later, a new rapper come out with a hit, and it's just like keep yeah, going. Yeah, like the nobody, music not last. Yeah, nobody yeah. just uh, nobody's making classic no more. Where somebody's just sticking to that one song every few months. I'm trying to think though. Move. Like, what was the last song that you could say that lasted more than a year for real? Besides, 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 besides not, besides not like those. Can't I can't find even a year though. That's yeah. That's that's nah, uh, what's the name? Uh, before that, probably Roddy like, Rich. Roddy Rich. The box. Yeah, that shit lasted a minute. Nigga, that's like three years ago. Yeah, Gunner shit. Like, what are the two Gunner songs? Well, like, uh, the past yeah, two. Yeah. Fuck you mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, even yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck you mean. But like, even fuck you mean. Like, like, like right now, nigga, nobody talking about fuck you mean no more. Nah, yeah. 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 But it's hard. Awesome. Awesome. If he didn't go to jail, it probably would have been bigger than what it is. That's what I think. I feel like the store would have been hot, but since he went to jail, and people just... Nigga, nigga but he dropped it when he came out of jail. Yeah. Fuck you mean? Yeah. That came out of the crazy but still, though, some people chose not to fuck with it because they feel like he's snitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it was they controversial. Were, was yeah, I'm just saying, but like, when was the last time like some shit came out? Was like, yeah, we know this shit gonna be here in the next five. 10 you mean years. like the rapper is gonna be here for a long time? No, like just the song. It's just like so big that niggas make like, like, like a lifestyle, like, like a lifestyle. Nigga. Kendrick is the like, but we can't really put every song to like that standard. Yeah. That's a hard yeah. standard. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna like, say last well, year. Even, even like niggas like Drake. Like if you think about it, when was the last time he had some song that's like just oh shit? Nigga, life's good maybe, and even niggas don't even talk about that no more. Nah, but now they do. Yeah, but that shit lasted a year for sure. Nah, yeah, last yeah. was really one of them. I, I, I definitely yeah. say you know, don't. That nigga had like 2016. I feel like nigga had a fade. I feel like the biggest hit that came out as of recently that's probably not going nowhere no time soon is probably the uh, Kendrick just to yeah, okay, yeah, that shit. That's like a legendary already. Yeah. It's because of the diss, the shit he was saying. And then that beautiful performance he gave, nigga. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. So, nah, nah, I thought nah, nah. song, I thought it was okay. I didn't even think Women's it was music it. rap, women rap right now is definitely taking over though. Huh? Yeah. Girls, they, 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 they music, like they actually dropping shit and every week you could say they damn near got a hit. Uh, yeah. And I would say one thing, Mondaleo, Mondaleo, that right there, that's an Ooh, artist. I know the song. Right, that's an I know the song. I just I asked you that question. I just thought about it because you said that. Uh, what's the Mooney Long song? That was the song I was kind of like. Yeah, yeah. But you see, that only lasts for so long. But you know, think, I feel like it's TikTok that make you think some yeah. shit just went away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. literally. But that's like why. When you go on TikTok, when you went on, when that shit came on, you was on TikTok. You literally heard that shit every yeah. other yeah. TikTok. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I feel like now, like bro, like a hit don't come out, but it goes away as quick as it came. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But the thing is, because TikTok kind of makes the hits though. Yeah. TikTok yeah. damn near makes something a hit. Yeah. It's nowadays yeah. niggas don't listen to an album and be like, yeah, this is a hit. They just go on TikTok here and be like, what song is this? Because even with the sexy red songs, nigga, she'll have a song that's probably hot for like four months, then she dropped a new one, and niggas yeah. forgot about the whole yeah. one, go to the new one. Even like with the Boss Man Deal. Well, I was just about to say Boss Man Deal. Yeah, the Deal? The Him I mean, definitely, yeah. though. Him, I say he drop a song two months, nigga, move on to the next well, one. Like, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Like, As a rapper, you like that, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's crazy, though, because you know, niggas like. We're just talking about the classic. Like, the song just been a classic. It's crazy, though. Niggas like Boss Man Deal, like, I feel like I could listen to his music, but I can't listen to an album from him. I mean, if you think about it, like, if, the the songs, too, if the songs actually sound very similar the whole way through, I'm not. Yeah, but yeah. I go like, nah, he's that. He's definitely. Now, I'm he's saying, though, like, you, you know, you got artists where if they drop, you could listen you to their whole album. Pops. Yeah, you could listen to their whole album, but then niggas that's like just like blown off of TikTok and shit that got yeah. one song, two song, nigga, you can't listen to a whole album. Nah, yeah, that's yeah, but Bobby and D-Lo, the good things about him is his shit's back to back to back, so yeah, you don't got yeah. people worrying about it could sound the same, and at least it sound a little better. Yeah, but even cause just like I like, we think about like, cause even like Rod Wave, like he might be one of the niggas that got wild, all these songs platinum and shit. But he don't really have a song where I feel like niggas listen to every single day that you hear outside every day. You know what I'm saying? I think he's yeah. just a yeah, well. Turks and Caicos was up there. Nah, but when, 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 when his, the thing about him though is when his album come out, niggas will literally play the album and that's yeah. 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 yeah, but the thing is, his fans are very loyal, yeah. and like his shit's like. Like when you listen to Broadway Wave album, you know what you're finna get. Yeah, yeah. And, and, he, and he literally, he literally has the times like niggas, set. Like niggas know when he gonna drop. And when like, he it's the same shit. He's a very every year. Year. I ain't gonna lie, he doesn't know what he wants and says it. Even that one nigga had a wave for a couple months too. Though, what's that one nigga? Uh, oh, he, he, he from where no cap from? Alabama. Uh, yeah, Alabama. Even him. Yeah, like, wait for know, he like him. He like an album type of artist though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can listen to a whole album from him. Yeah, the yeah. thing is with niggas like Kendall, I don't feel like it's like some rappers you know, like 
they goal is to be like the biggest rapper. Yeah. And some niggas, they don't care. Yeah, like, yeah. Rod Wave, I feel like he doesn't give a fuck. As long as he gives something to his fans, yeah. and go on tour every year. Mm-hmm. I feel like he actually loves tour. That's yeah. one thing I know. Every year? Really it's, bro, it's crazy because you could really think about artists that, like, they actually, you could tell they try to be, like, make good music. Yeah, I, 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 but, like, the music industry just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could put, I could put like um, Kodak. That one song you made, Super Star, like, That shit was definitely. Yeah. Like, that they don't even try, but they let that shit die quick too, though. Yeah. Next Wait, I don't know. It was a solid year. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Yeah. Definitely past the year. Let me tell you the difference because you know when you go to a party nowadays, mm-hmm. the main 10, 15 songs, Dreams and Nightmares, fucking oh, Fernando, all that Fernito. shit, all that shit. You yeah. know what you're gonna hear every time. Yeah. Ten years from now, five years from now, you're gonna hear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no flop. So he's more. still rocking. Yeah, no flop. Yeah, yeah, still. Yeah, that, that's, like, that's a certified hit. Mm-hmm. But other than that, shit, ain't a lot of rappers that have like something that's gonna get played for ten. That's why all that years. numbers, that first week shit now is just like everybody shit looking bad, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. When I seen Polo G sell twenty four, I was like, God damn, nigga. Nigga went from 120 to 24, nigga. What? I, ain't gonna lie. I really wonder how much, really, how much actual money the niggas make off that shit. Oh yeah, matter of fact, you know what I was gonna say. Another thing why I feel like the uh, nigga shit is dropping too is because of uh, like, uh, like say I pulled you for example. I think it's like, bro, like fans go to hate niggas for like shit. Yeah, they yeah. Go. That's, that's, gonna, that's I'm like say, yeah, I think cancel culture is the reason why yeah, like, a lot of people. Nah, nigga, that's that's, 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 that's music though. That's just hating. They be cancel culture for coming to just hate on a nigga for having his opinion. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he got canceled. I just think like, no, not canceled, but yeah. like you know, it's the culture of like the niggas yeah. that want people to be canceled. I feel like it's more the of a hate wave. It's more of a hate wave yeah, than yeah. canceled. But, but if you think about it, everybody. Well, yeah. you literally really cannot win, my nigga. If you a nigga that's just dropping good music, nigga, and it sounds like using the same type of beats, nigga, you try something different, nigga, they tell you to go back like, to the old. Like shit. I guarantee you, Lil Baby's gonna sell more than probably like one thirty next time. Bro. Just because they can be hating. Nah, ain't quite what's up. I said 100, but 130 is yeah, kind of See, now, that's kind of. That's kind of. I love dirt. I don't know if he's going to sell no 130. I mean, he kind of put it. Dirt can sell 100. He'll sell 100. I feel like he got 90. At the least 90. Yeah. I got 90. Well, he's going to have to have some. Little baby, right now, I really got him from 90 to 100. I ain't going to lie. But the baby, Dirk, I know for a fact he's going to sell 100. put his personality more outside, so niggas is gonna probably going to chase that shit. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 the thing is, little baby, the thing is, I don't like it because. Well, I don't like about none of what they do to rappers. When you have a great, great album, everybody wants you to just remake that. Yeah. But it's not easy. Everybody Give Drake, bro. Try and have, it was a one album. After that, nothing yeah. ever was the same. Yeah. Yeah. Something sold more, I think. I think, what's the name? Nice second one. It's second one. Nice second one. But it's not better. Okay. Than, okay. But it's not better than Get Rich or Die. Yeah, not. Like, he, Lil Baby's, uh, the shit that he did in COVID, is his best album. But I think his next album sold higher yeah. than that. But nigga, I cannot, that's why when the albums come out from artists that I like, I can't even like listen to niggas' opinions on the internet. You gotta listen to it yourself. That nigga, that shit come out for five minutes, nigga, like, nah, this shit, man. Yes. I mean, fuck every nigga, every every nigga two, you can't even listen to two songs in five minutes, nigga. Everything gets two full views, two full plays, mm-hmm. and then I tell 1207, 1207, 1207, they go in there saying, the yeah. album's made. Yeah. Yeah. Seven minutes. <laughs> They just yeah, like one of the songs is five minutes. How the fuck he doesn't know? Yeah. Yeah. The intro be like five minutes every time. Now, I do like rappers that put intros in this shit though. Yeah. Like at least if it matches the album, I like that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but some rappers' music is just falling off. Regardless of people hating, it just don't yeah. feel the same. Like, yeah. People just say it ain't like how it used to. But the situation matters too. I feel like when we was in high school, middle school, listening to the music, it was different than now. Like now, you probably gonna listen to some more that you can relate to. That back then, because back then you can't relate to me. Mm-hmm. 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 But the only difference, really, from now and then, they was actually rappers who was doing the shit with the R and B thing. Yeah, like that. Right. There's nothing going on with that. Like now, some rappers are trying. Like, but for 2017, I really believe niggas was still doing the rapper and R and B nigga thing. But that's just dead. And yeah, nigga, when you hear about it though, is it that many good R and B like females right now? Not good, yeah, but like, like is no, it a variety? You talking like, about like, yeah, like no, like, like nigga back then, nigga, you know how I many yeah. fucking females it was. Nigga? Nah, they were fucking classic. But the thing is, the time that Lizzie's talking about though, you talking about like. Two thousand four. No, I think you talking. Yeah, you talking about high school. Nah, yeah, nah, about nah, high school. You know, like we ain't gonna never yeah. end. Honest, all yeah. the bitches like Sierra, Maria, mm-hmm. Future, all that shit. See now, all they. Nah, I'm not gonna say. Not oh, he did when Rihanna and Drake was hopping on shit. Mm-hmm. That's what, like all of that shit. But niggas, made, niggas now, they niggas don't like doing collabs and shit. Yeah. The only time. Yeah, but I mean, another thing I remember is like some rappers though, like the reason why they kind of dropped some shit like that. That's why Drake and Lil Yachty they released that one shit because the nigga the nigga didn't want to. uh 
sampling and shit like that. Yeah, you don't want to let them sample it. Like, yeah, even, 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 I, feel like, I feel like even like SZA would hop on some shit with like a couple people, but that would be like Drake, prom, like Rihanna and somebody type shit. Like, that, that, right? they don't, I don't know. They don't, they don't say it. Because you're not having like a Jay-Z. Like you don't oh, see yeah, SZA. Yeah, yeah. Cause I feel like Nine Beats are original. SZA had a song with Drake, right? Yeah. So that's like, okay, that's good. Yeah. But like, other than that, Jay-Z, Kanye, Rihanna on a song? Yeah. There's nothing in this generation yeah, I can compare to. That. Yeah. Lil Wayne, Drake on the same song? Like, what is that? Nigga, the whole YMCA and B. Nigga, Nick, Nicki, remember Nicki Nicki, Minaj was on a song with Jay-Z? Nigga, Nicki, Drake, Jay-Z, yeah. Lil Wayne, Kanye, all on a song together? Nigga, come on. The Migos, Cardi B, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, we ain't never seen no shit like that. That's what was hard. Nah, that's what was hard. That's what was hard. That's what was hard. That's probably yeah. the last shit we got. I showed a hella competition too. Like, yeah, you know, like they was, like, Nikki and Cardi said, hold on, we finna move like some shit. Cardi, I'm back different. Oh man, I'm back different. Yeah, yeah. Shit, man. The only bitch that went against me is... Cardi. Yeah, anyway, but let's get off <laughs> the music. Oh, no, right. that's, other, that's the other song, actually. All right, let's get off the music, though. We're gonna do, now we're gonna say, so, do y'all feel like money can solve all y'all problems right now? Hell yeah. Every problem you have, you feel money? I don't think it can. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I, but it generally makes me happy. I, it really lie. solves my problems. I ain't gonna lie. Like, real shit, man. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I dead ass just think that shit, but I don't know. Bro. Hey, let me tell you. I got this little short story, man. I'm gonna tell you why, man. You know what I'm saying? It was a time in the summer, man. I got fired from my job, man. A couple, oh, went, okay. went a couple weeks without working, man. Okay. And I had to work for Amazon, man. Okay. When that first check came, nigga, they paid all my bills, nigga. Then the next check, all my bills was covered, so I had the free money to spend for myself. And mm. tell me I was the happiest nigga in summer. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. You know what's crazy? I did. I heard somebody say before, they was like, uh, what's it called? If, it's, if somebody tell you money don't buy happiness, it's because they didn't make enough money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but I feel like... Oh, but I don't think that's true. That's a now, fact. No, the reason why I think... You could, if money solve all your problems, that means like most of your life is based on money. money. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I think I just want like shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If your life is not deep, mostly based on money, if you just want to be happy all the time yeah. and money's not really will always make you happy, you know, some niggas, they might be going through depression or whatever. Money ain't going to solve that shit. Yeah. Shit. You could get all the money in the world, but shit, if you ain't really happy. Well, shit, another thing I think, I feel like the reason why money can't really help with depression is because, like, nigga, Damn, I gotta explain it because that's for like you. Everything you it's like it's when you work and you're always working for somebody or something. So when I work, nigga, I got shit I gotta pay for, but it's just to get that out of like get me out of like some debt shit, basically. Yeah, before, so it don't make me happy that damn I'm out of debt, but it makes me happy that I don't gotta. Ah, but for example, cool. let's say let's say you have hella money, right? Somebody give you hella money and shit. But then let's say it's just somebody you know or somebody in your family, whatever. They going through something that money can't solve. You don't yeah. think it'll stress you out? Yeah, that's why I feel like I got to So, would it money. make you, but money will make you happy and everything. If so I could get it to secure, like, to help them. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah. The money can't do nothing. All money's nothing. Money. 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 Look, but, but, but you wouldn't be as happy, right? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, another yeah. thing, too, like, bro, well, like, you would literally run into somebody that's, like, working a nine to five, like, some crazy shit, and they'll be the happiest person ever. Because they enjoy it. Yeah, and then you run into somebody that's rich as hell, and they just. Miserable. Miserable, literally. So, but I feel like yeah, but I know, people they do a I, lot. I, I, I put it like this: like I feel like the people that are actually rich and all that shit, though, they still got a lot of stuff. They gotta do a lot of stuff to maintain the money too, though. So that's yeah. why it's stressful to them. Like, but the thing is, but being rich, you gotta think about it. It's a lot of shit you gotta go through. Yeah, a lot of shit you gotta block out yeah. to get to that point. Yeah. So then, when you get there, it's not gonna be a lot of niggas with you. <laughs> And you probably ain't gonna have, you probably ain't gonna be married either because no like, yeah, you like, you know, all right, so to answer that question, I would say money solves problems, but it doesn't make like so ultimately, it, yeah, it don't ultimately, it just don't make you happy. It just makes you, uh, it makes you, it helps you solve problems to make other people happy, but it doesn't make yourself happy. And like, yeah, I, know, know, I think all money does is solve financial problems. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, at that shit. point, you gonna get used, you gonna get used, yeah. used yeah. and abused. But, but I'm not saying problem. money. But I'm not saying money. Don't make niggas happy. I ain't gonna lie. The more money I see, it do make me yeah, happy. Yeah. But like, but it's but not me personally. I think of the responsibility that come with the money. Yeah, yeah. I know I got. I know. gotta make sure everybody eat. More money. No more fucking with our money. That's just the way it is. Yeah, you get money, it breaks good. All right. Like, <laughs> more, I start getting money here. I start buying shit that I, you know what I'm saying. I normally wouldn't buy if I didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga, I go to Walmart. Like, for example, nigga, I go to Walmart, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna buy some shampoo or some shit like that, nigga. You know, <laughs> usually I just go, had some shit shoulders and shit, right? Yeah, you know, like, I have money. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go to Aunt Anne, you know, five dollars more, but it look good, nigga. Look like it's gonna make my hair look nice, nigga. I'm gonna buy some extra shit, nigga. Marketing, nigga, be cooking, nigga, like, like you know, I'm you, man. 
<laughs> and it makes it, it's really how they be putting up bottles too, man. Like the color of that shit, man. That shit just be and looking natural and organic. Yeah, right? and the scent, and the scent. They do a lot of that shit to get niggas' attention, right? Like. <laughs> but nah, but okay, so we're gonna lead this off to saying like, could you fuck with someone that don't got no money? That's broke. <laughs> or could you be with someone knowing that you broke? Yeah. Wait, 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 like, I want to ask you a first question. Seriously? I want to ask you a first question. You somebody knowing that you pop. You ain't got nothing. I'm broke. You yeah. pop. Oh, I am. But you basically, you I'm not. I'm just about to believe in my, like, I still got to have motivation. Yeah. yeah. So no. basically, you, you just have believe in my you motivation. You, you just broke. No, I'm, I'm saying, I look, I'm not going to lie, like, like, this might sound cocky, but <laughs> I can't see myself <laughs> being a bone. Like, like, I, I have broke. too much motivation to not be a bone. Yeah, broke is crazy, bro. Even, like, I'm not going to lie, even... The first part of the question was, can I see myself marrying or fucking with somebody that has no money? I mean, yeah, but they better have a plan. Yeah. Type shit. <laughs> or no, you better help me with some but shit. What if you don't like their plan? We gonna coach you, fuck it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, look, as long as you got a plan, but it's not like, like, what you mean? They, like, what you mean? All right, look, I can tell you a plan I have right now. Let's yeah. Say, oh, yeah, man, I want to make these shoes. I'm going to call them some crazy shit, whatever, yeah. whatever. And you're not going to like it. But in my mind, I'm like, bro, I'm going to do it regardless. You right. still gonna you still gonna support it? Yeah, I mean I don't gotta like and that. Then plan I, love this. I mean if it don't work, then next plan. <laughs> what? Think, I mean if it, but this is you know how hard it is for somebody to quit their plan though. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you better have a plan after a plan after the plan. A backup plan? Yeah. Oh, yeah what's the name? Yeah. We just, we, I feel like we what? said enough about that. No, we yeah, we said enough. Yeah. All right, so next what we gonna say? We gonna ask? Would you let your girl work at the club? <laughs> The club, and we're not gonna go away. We just gonna say girlfriend or somebody you would fuck with. Would you fuck with somebody that work at a club? It don't gotta be strip club. It don't gotta be strip club. It could be you could do the work the like league. a bar. Yeah, bar to bar. Bar I, bar tender, strip club. Nah, bar hey, I, I put it like this: if I met her and she was already doing that, that's cool. But if we wait till I'm fucking with you and you did that, fuck her. Okay, so but if if you did meet her and you, she was doing that, yeah. would you take her serious though? No, not at all. Nah, I don't know though because it really you don't really get to know somebody until you actually start like hanging out with them a lot. And you actually can trust them, man. I don't know, bro. When I think of Take a bar, I think of brothers, bro. Yeah. And I feel like I mean, it I, could be a club bar. It could yeah, be, I feel like I could let my girl work there. I feel like if it's, if it's like a bar, strip club, nigga, it's yeah. strip club. Yeah. Behind the bar, yeah. go ahead, pop your shit. But I should about it, bro. Let's but at the end of the day, your job is your job is to really fuck with men. So I'm cool. Like I got right ass out on that. Every nigga with too much money. Now, but the thing is, even at brothers, the girls be walking around with their ass out. Yeah, but that's your pants. No, it's not. Nigga, ass out. You gotta be short. I'm not gonna lie. You think about it, bro. If your girl could deny somebody, like. Like a hundred drunk people a day, like you know, but they really gotta like you. No, I'm just thinking like in your mind, bro. You gotta really think about how much people they gotta like deny. So you don't think you can handle it? I mean, a strip club, I don't know, but a bar. What about a club? What about a club? I don't care, man. What about a black club? I just thought about it. I can't do that. I I can't put a black club in my mind right now, bro. I'm trying to think. Black club is gonna be freaking in the Yo, you know how much that she got at that time, my nigga. So you said you. I'm just trying to think, like, bro. Man, on a Friday night, yeah, like the yeah, hundred yeah. people or something, the hundred niggas. That ain't my job to think about. Yeah, yeah imagine what no one else. So, so like you like fuck this. with that or not? <laughs> Your mama, hey, look, look, look. You know, you probably didn't try to slit on some people at the bar? Shit. Yeah, he so. did. I said, I said, it was 4K, nigga. Oh, God. 5K, nigga. You know, the, problem, the, problem, the problem is, when you a nigga too, when you drunk, you feel confident. Yeah. So if you just see the girl at the bar, she gives you a drink, she's smiling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A hundred confident niggas, she got to turn down. Yeah, and yeah, come back home and like, you get to tomorrow. You argue, you argue with your girl on a Thursday night. Uh, oh, yeah. It's Friday night, oh, you want to go to the club, nigga? No, that nigga, 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 nigga That one drunk nigga make her feel good, it's lit. Yeah. Nigga, what the fuck? If she come and nah, she get out, what are you, drunk nigga? It'd be her fucking friends in the back before they go park, do their little walking around with the bottles. They friends be like, man, you have fun tonight, man. Fuck you. Don't worry about that nigga, man. You're going to have fun tonight. Bro, so, ain't bro. Niggas be going to clubs and talking to the bartender, telling them about their life and shit. Yeah. Hell, so do you? So you? Talk, <laughs> nigga, probably smell wild good, nigga. That's so, it, man. So you, so you think she, you could, you could fuck with somebody, but you just couldn't take them serious though, if they were like that. I don't know, bro. I just feel like it seems insecure of me to think like that. Nah, nigga, you have your it's, purpose. It's, at, the end, Damn. at the end of the day, you gotta be real, because when it comes down to it, if you sit in that place, you're not gonna want to fuck with that girl. That's just the truth. That's the reason why you gotta be insecure with it right now. I can't be, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's too many niggas to deny. And you gotta do that like three days in a row, nigga. Like three. 
some could be some. I'm just talking about Friday. I'm talking about Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Maybe it's because we don't, we don't, none of us would like probably work a job like that. That's why we can't see that side of you know, like the yeah. spectrum. I like, see if I lived in Miami, it's a fuck. I no, 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 holy no. fuck. <laughs> Any any big city, I swear to God, my bitch better not go to bar, strip club, club. Nigga, we Service. in Vermont or Nebraska. Nebraska. I swear to God, Nebraska. bitch, it's gonna be good. Yeah, Vermont, nigga. We not, you not even giving out no hookah to nobody, bitch. You going home, nigga? Montana, in a Colorado, <laughs> nigga. We in one of them states, nigga. We good. Yeah. <laughs> Miami, nigga, that's the worst. All right, so I wonder if the bills are paid though. Bills, like, I don't like, get no, if she works at one of them things, well, like, the bill's gonna be paid. Yeah, don't if she fuck. works at any bills, the bill's is gonna be paid. Oh, she, gonna be she, oh, she got to work two days, well, like, the bill's gonna be paid. My bottom girl, that's $800 a night if you like that. Oh, nah, but just put it like, nah, I ain't gonna lie to hell, I'm not letting them to why. So, I mean, let's say we have kids, right? You know what I'm saying? We got like two kids all rolling around. Nah, we you out doing the club. Nigga, you out in the club and all that shit. I'm over here taking care of the kids, and there's a chance we might be fucking with a dog. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Crash out, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. To the nigga. Nigga, I just thought about two. Yo, fuck the denial, nigga. All a nigga gotta do is give you a good tip. Yeah. yeah. They give you $100. Yeah. Hey. Matter of fact, I'm so insecure that even if my girl's super loyal and a nigga just happened to give her a big tip because she looked good, that would make me mad. I'm so insecure. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's another thing you don't think about, man. Because yeah. a girl can be lower as hell, man, but a nigga that's real thirsty, man, he could just come each week and give him a good ass, yeah, crazy yeah, ass yeah, tip. Yeah. And they or just give him the money in general. That shit don't feel good. And I'm not gonna lie. And I niggas mean, be buying girls free drinks. Oh, I have a question. Fuck that, man. It's not even on the segment. If a nigga sending your bitch money randomly every every time he feels it, like, are you allowing yourself to fuck with that girl? It's my Long term. That's just my girl. girl. This is your How does girl. he have her, her information? He's I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know. That he's like one of the old niggas that like. Yeah, old niggas that like. Nah, I ain't fucking. I ain't gonna lie, no. You know this is gonna be my game plan. I'm gonna, gonna just tell, I'm gonna just mm-hmm. tell her. Look, I'm gonna just tell her. All right, we gonna go for the big bucks, like, you know, like we gonna hit him for twenty k this one time, and then we done with this nigga. And if he sending something else, we on it. We fucking that nigga alive, <laughs> nigga. Oh God. You gotta hit him for one good. I mean, some people probably like eight to two I ain't gonna lie, but the thing is, are you? Like, is it a girl that you live with? You with her every day and shit like that, so you know she not fucking yeah. with the nigga. Uh, but, you but regardless, you, that's you don't know. know. You don't know. Nah, I nah. But something, me something, personally, I ain't going. Something that pays to me just knowing that someone take care, like somebody do something for my girl and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know that's one of the things niggas kind of like when they yeah. go to their girl. The girls would go to their girlfriends. Oh, my nigga, send me no money, bro. Shit. They just be happy. Niggas be like, yeah, I'm the man, man. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm like, I'm gonna triple bullshit. You gotta be to just to be giving a girl money that's with a nigga. You gotta be rich. Nah, but that's how it works though. In life, in life, it always happens because yeah. like uh, when you keep doing that shit, the girl's gonna eventually give in. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. Unless she got self control. I ain't gonna. I'm going to just. Have you to know what's so crazy? You know because yeah. I feel like I, I know it should be double standards, but like, I'm telling you, a girl would not. There's like I feel like there's really no girl that would allow that to happen. They niggas no. be accepting money, money for money. money. Girl, like girls don't even think twice about like, shit, bro. A haircut. <laughs> if a bitch paid for a nigga haircut, it's cool. Over with. That's hundred million dollars. You know what I'm They be getting an install paid for and then look at a nigga funny when he don't even want to buy a bitch a sandwich. Well, when I hear something that niggas be paid for me to do, I be like, something like, man, you a better nigga than me. Like, really? You pay for uh, $100, $120 nails that like, fucking break in two days? Yeah, like, fuck out of I can pay you. My mom break me better. What's the name? Is a girl that love to fight? Huh? Especially if it's a girl that love to fight, nigga, you just pay for nails. Yeah, but nails be breaking for all types of shit. You get them some minors in the fucking fridge, nigga. That's why I rather I like girls with like shorter nails. Yeah, yeah me like too. That, yeah. French tips. French tips. Yeah, I love a natural. That's my type of girl. Mm. Mm-hmm. I do like like plain. But I ain't gonna lie, though. Bitch with a bow. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I saw that earlier. Anyway, so. How do you feel about French tips? I love no, we like it. We got Atlanta. Yeah. We know white toe, French tips. You know, man. That's just what it is, it's man. All right, Atlanta. How do you incorporate Atlanta? You know that's what they say, though. You know. But anyway, so I got another question. So, look. So, out of all of us, or I mean, you can include other people we cool with if you want. If you had to take somebody on a double date, hmm. and I'm not saying two men, because two men sound like you're just trying to crack. Okay. I mean, if you want to put it, y'all want to do two men or double date? Nah, that's the same thing to me. Nah, no, it's not. Let's say two men. A, a double date, double date. a double date, because you, when you think of double date, you're thinking like this nigga. Can't, take you're them you're taking them out, and this nigga can't be embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now, if you had to take one nigga out of us, Oh, we do. I do want to double date with one of y'all. Yeah, all of us. Who would you choose? And who's most likely you would choose? Who's least likely? We're gonna fuck on Harvey, so I definitely can't do him. 
I was about to say versus, but he gonna. Yeah, nigga, he said us, nigga. Yeah, you can do us. You're right. I was about to say, nigga, that nigga. I got like, has to. I feel like for it to be even, it has to be. It has to be him. Yeah. I feel like that's the one that's the girl. I feel like, like the I feel like it depends on the female. No, I, I don't yes, think it matters, bro. bro I because like it depends. I feel like no matter where how it goes, it's gonna be more normal. I'll go with him. Yeah. I'll go with Drew. It's gonna be somewhat yeah. awkward because, nigga, why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, but, it yeah. should be awkward. Yeah. Yeah. But I do want to be weird either. It's just like, man, I just feel like I, I feel like if I go with you, I'm gonna have to talk more because. You just like to start, you like to say shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like it's a problem start. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, I feel like the problem is, I, the thing is about going with a lady, the problem is because they going to try to, they're going to try to be like, I don't know, man. It just gives he a hoe. And you be with him, so, you know, they might start with him. <laughs> just so, just just so, just so, 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 I don't know, bro. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like if you was to go with him, like, hey, 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 I'm just saying, nah, I don't know. I don't he opens know. himself up to get roasted, bro. Yeah. So Ooh. you'll be looking like an L man. Yeah. Like, 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 see, that's the thing. I've been around this nigga. No, no, no. He's not, no, they're going to say what I'm not, saying. He's not, he not saying you do the roast. I'm not saying. But he said you might do something to make uh, like him want to roast you. Oh, but that's yeah. Yeah. But that's him. I'm going to feel like an L man. But that's me and him. Like, I ain't going to lie. The problem is with him, though, the thing is, I don't know if I'll be able to go with him because this nigga can't act clueless. I can't take him. You might be in there, the girl might be giving it to him, like handling it. And then he just acted stupid. Handling it. Handling it. So I might have to leave him at the crib. I don't know, man. I might go out of the city to see what happens. I just want to see what happens. Because he's mysterious. I don't want to go out of the city. You're going to go out of the city, man. You're going to go out of the city. You're going to think you want out of one, two, one, two. The only reason why I know somebody might not want to go with me because they gonna just think I'm gonna make fun of them in front of the group. But I wouldn't do that though. Nah, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say back in them back in them days, gang. I probably roasted a little. Back in them days, but yeah, accidentally. Yeah. But nah, but here's the thing: though, I feel like he'll wait for you to open that shit up yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I don't know, know, if, 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 if we if we out eating mm-hmm. and then I'm out with a luxury and he doing all that little extra shit he doing on the menu, I'm cooking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cooking. Oh, right. uh, See, but like, like, like me, I, uh, I put it like this. Even if I don't do it like the way I do it, like cooking him, I just like, like you know sometimes the girls they know that somebody doing some bozo shit. Yeah. And yeah, I just see see at the same time. Like, see, I might just start laughing. See, that's the difference though. Y'all assess, y'all associate me and just bozo shit. It don't even have to be that's bozo. Not bozo shit though. Like the main shit not bozo. No, no, it's not bozo. It's just that's just him. Like at the end of the day, I like what I like for me. Yeah, yeah it's like, like if you go out with me, I'm gonna eat some chicken tenders. They gonna start cooking me. So that shit. No, 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 no. But really, it's not even like that though. Because you, you, you can't, you can't even like, you can't really put it like that. Because sometimes you gotta look at the service face too, man. Yeah. We look at them niggas. I'm paying my food. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> listen, 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 listen to everybody in the people. They working. I'm eating, nigga. I'm gonna get what I want for my bread. You stupid. Like, for example, you stupid. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say this nigga want to walk in. Fucking chicken and empalada and all that shit. What yeah. Enchilada, whatever, right? Yeah. That shit comes with wild shit like mushrooms, banana peppers. Yeah. And, then, and you know what I'm saying? They tell you it comes prepackaged. Yeah. Shit, right? How does this type of nigga that be like, can you open it up? Take the mushrooms out. Take the thing. Uh, like, you like, take the mushrooms out. No, 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 I wouldn't do nothing like that. No, no, I'm just saying. I had shit. I wouldn't take that. Yeah, like, you know, you want to ask. I had something that you want You want to add it and serve like a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I, I would take, I would roast them to him because they probably wouldn't get it because they don't be out with Nah, but you know what Alasana be doing though, right? Nigga, like you'll be, he'll order something, right? And you'll come out of nowhere and you'll be ordering something. Like, mmm, that's just something good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At a time, that's not necessary. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, she told me that. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> like, they watching this shit, they gonna say, don't ever go out to eat with these niggas. I can also do that shit too. Uh, we'll be doing that shit too. It's so crazy. Crazy. I switched up my formula. I don't even do that extra shit for meals and names and shit no more. That's like two years ago. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh God, that's like two years ago. We ain't even talking about shit from two years ago. Now, I feel like yeah. at, I feel like at uh, game gym you probably did some extra shit. No. Cause niggas got the nachos. Cause what's the name was trying to be? I just got the nachos. I mean, I don't remember. Like I'm telling you, that's the. I ain't got that. They tried it. No, you probably, you probably asked nachos. a question. Yeah, yeah they yeah, thought yeah, I was yeah, trying. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Niggas be talking about oh, this <laughs> shit, bro. I'm a grown man. I made my mind change my ways, bro. That's crazy, man. Oh, bro. I'm like, come on, man. Alright. You go out to eat like two times a year. Yeah. Alright, so the next one, the next one we got. What are the signs you are ready for marriage? Oh, shit. Real shit. I, for me personally, I'll probably want to start I consistently praying every day. I'll say that. When I start doing that, that's when I know I'm ready. But, no, let's just say, besides, like, faith wise, like, 
what would you see within yourself? Because obviously, nigga, you well, start, I don't know. But you I just start feel like, date. You know, I'm not saying, but me, like, I just feel like, just, was, yeah, when you're on the, you the religious side, like, you don't do that, you, nigga, you ready for it. Like, I don't know. I just look at it as like, man, that's the time when I know I'm mature for a fact. And I feel like I can't see myself getting married to my heart. I feel like I'm mature. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so you're so shit. Thing is, yeah. I feel like if you think like that, you're gonna never get married. Not no, never. Fuck get, you, no, no, no. I'm not saying yeah. never. Nigga. Nigga, tell me what I think, nigga. No, I'm not saying never get married, but you never gonna really be ready for real. Yeah. Like you're gonna feel like, like oh, I'm not gonna see you. I'm gonna see you. Besides, besides, besides being I mean, faithful. For example, let me ask you this question. I don't know this was being on a podcast. Like, nigga, think about your cousin. Now, but my cousin always been kind of religious though. That's what I'm saying. If you want to make shit halal, then I feel like that's what oh, I'm saying. I just feel like I seen the super change from him when he was a bullshit guy to when he. I mean, the thing is, you don't you don't really see him as much, so maybe that played a factor. But he always was religious, though. I, I know. Yeah, he kind of was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was Me personally, bro, I feel like when I would know when I just want to be halal. Like I just want to make it be like a good nigga. So since I ain't saying Arabic, it's two it's two different meanings. <laughs> no, Basically, no, I just no. You right, said about the side. You said you tour though. What about, what about besides Like you mature right now. Hey brother, you gotta answer some joke. Yeah, I'm gonna answer too. I'm trying to think. I really don't know. I don't trust you. I don't feel like that. Because y'all ain't saying nothing about job or nothing. Nah, because they don't. <laughs> you're just a relief person. So right now, I'm not gonna lie, but to be honest, man, I feel like that job shit really don't matter. So I feel like you when you get married, everything gets better. So I'm saying, so the money, like you having enough money to get married, all that shit really don't matter. Yeah, I'm trying to. So right now, if you was religious, you could get married right now. That's my point. Yes. All right. So nah, you can get right now. Right now, right now nah, yeah, no, 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 no. That's what I'm gonna say. Right now, I'm ready to run up a little bit more money. But regardless, though, I know when you get married, everything just get better. No, that's but the right. thing is, about 100. percent That's not 100 percent true. First of all, no, I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm just saying, it's just healthy. It's just healthy. It's just healthy. No, yeah. no, but the thing, even if it is healthy, all marriage is in the beginning. You know, they said the beginning is the roughest. Yeah. And if you're in the beginning, you ain't got no money. And then you start listening. I'll say if I had 100% planned out, I know what I want to do, mm-hmm. then I can get married right now. And not no, but when is that going to happen, though? That's what I'm trying no, to say. No, I'm saying having a, like, if you have a plan, like a real plan of what you're going to do, then that's the But right. if you're just going to say, I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm, not gonna, gonna, I'm not rich right now, but I can get married. No, what I'm saying, though, sometimes not having shit planned out for marriage, like, works better. Yeah, because it kind of gives like, a Like, when you don't have, yeah, like, when you don't have shit planned out type shit. Hey, let me ask you this. Who do you think is going to really want to marry a motherfucker? Unless you know them from when you started at the uh, bottom. Yeah, yeah. Who gonna marry you when you don't got money? Yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> not, but you're not looking at it from just trying to find love at it. I'm, no, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, some growing together. No, but at, at the end of the day, every person that wants to be in a relationship and get married got their right to want certain yeah, things. Yeah, like, yeah. me, I don't want someone that don't really got no, no plan. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, really, like, yeah. like, you at least gotta know what you wanna do if you don't. Yeah, so you that's cool. This shit, everybody, everybody different. I the only thing is, some people. people just don't think that far. So not a lot of people don't. Not yet. Shit, me, I be in the moment. Nah, we the point where we get started. Nah, like it was just hell. But uh, yeah. So then we got one more question, man. One more question, and we are gonna ask about how y'all feel about the twenty v one. Well, now we probably do two more. Twenty v ones. How y'all feel about? Nigga, them shits is wild, nigga. Twenty v ones, pop the balloon, all that shit. Uh, and would you that, make, uh, make it like a better question? Would, would, would you? Would you want? Someone that you deal with on there, or if, or if you met somebody through there, would you take it serious? Fuck no. But the thing is, you can't say that because when you meet somebody on there, they're coming on there with a type of different energy than what they'll meet. Right, so, so what if they can tell the girl 10k that she's pretty? Let's say the girl you met was pretty. Of course you're gonna believe who you fuck with is pretty. Let's say she's pretty. Like, hey, you look pretty good. We will give you 5k to come and be in this 20 v one. You don't have to be the one person, but you could be like. Part of the twenty, you know, just come. Damn, but that's a girl. I even feel like it's some pick me shit. The only thing I like on twenty v one isn't that like when the girls come right there to see if they will hop on her, right? Kind of. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's I don't know. That's right. a, that's a, for five k, though. Basically, all they fight for a nigga. Yeah. So five k, would you let her do? That's kind of crazy though. That's a girl. I and the thing about no, not your girl, but you. I'm a bitch that's like either interested. Yeah, it is your girl. Nah. What if your girl? That's your girl. It's your girl that say ten k. Come do this shit right now. And you know your girl not gonna fuck with the nigga. Nah, my girl. They say some ugly nigga that you know. Nah, she don't care. Bro, that's you like nigga, nigga, Kim Kardashian yeah, nigga morals. had sex with. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga had sex with Kanye. I mean, fucking thing with Richard. And then later on, the kids gotta see that shit 20, 30 years. Yeah. I don't know. Nah, one thing I want to say, though, I probably would. I probably wouldn't mess with a girl that I met in the twenty v one. But like, I don't know. But when I be thinking about that twenty v one shit, like you know how much like fucking. Like courage, you gotta have to just go on there. Yeah. It's kind of scary. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, gotta kind of have some uh, respect for yourself. Fuck that. Yeah, like, it's literally like so a you go, you go, literally. 
Yeah, I'm a nigga. Maybe sexist, man. I put it like this. If I'm single and I, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm not fucking nobody for real, I think I should. Uh, me, either me or a girl should be able to do it. But if you're fucking with somebody, but you should not do that. Disrespectful as fuck. That's like fucking with a, uh, your nigga in jail and you fucking with a new nigga, bro. Same me, shit. Personally, I just think that's only be one shit. People that go in there just want validation. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I can't do that shit. I ain't gonna lie. But then again, you never know, man. That, that might get some like, opportunity to. Uh, that's what they like to say. You know what I'm saying? Give an opportunity to start a career or something. I don't know, man. Like, if you're a quote as fuck, nigga, that could be the, the reason why she blew up. That's like, damn, that quote ass girl up in 20 v one and then she started doing her own 20 v one and she lit off YouTube off of that thing. That, that could be some shit. But see, you know, the problem with that shit is it's not common. It's not yeah. common. <laughs> it's not common. <laughs> it just take clout and it goes somewhere. I ain't gonna lie, though. I feel like a, a pretty ass girl always gonna get her way. Some shit. Somehow. Some she puts her face they out there. She's smart she, enough, yeah. A pretty ass girl, she puts her face out there. She's gonna get it. Sometimes, some shit. So, y'all believe, do y'all think uh, niggas get pretty privileged? Yeah. Nigga, I don't know. Nah, that's some niggas. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, no, man. I'm not gonna say hell no. I feel like it is, but like, for a nigga, pause, but for a nigga to be pretty, like, and be famous off just being like good looking, yeah, nigga, it's great. Yeah, now, it's not only famous, but like privilege. You know, when a girl's pretty, yeah, they walk to the club. You could be 16. Yeah, sorry, guys. But you can be 16. Yeah, and they'll let you in that motherfucker if you look good. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even look at the eyes. I'm just saying, but a nigga, I don't think a nigga getting that. I'm just saying a nigga like that's bro, girls. Look at the clock. Yeah. But yeah. girls have so much different types. I feel like it's rare, bro. But like, I'm not gonna lie. Well, like, girl could walk in here right now, and all four of us could agree that she looks good. Yeah. And I don't think girls like you could you could find five girls that would all be like, yeah, he's my type. Now, nah, but it, just because somebody look good don't mean that's your type. You could walk into a room with five girls and they could all similarly say, yeah, he's pretty. I mean, he looks good. He's cool. handsome. But some of them might. Oh, matter of fact, I'm saying fine. Somebody. No matter of fact, fact, I'm saying like niggas would be like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be in a relationship with her without even like speaking to her. Like, or so, now, back over there, just think of some freaking. Uh, I definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, true. niggas is really more sexual. Yeah. Yeah. When you see a girl, that's what I'm saying. I've heard that's it's a, rare I've heard for a goddamn lie. What? I've heard that's a goddamn you heard lie. What's, uh, no, no, girls, no. girls are sexual. But me, I don't think. Like originally though, I don't think most girls when they see a nigga, they think like when a nigga right, with her, that when a nigga see a girl, it's different ways you can see him. You see the ass, mm-hmm. I want to fuck. You see her from the face. Then you like, okay, she look good, I will fuck or something like that. That's I don't know, pause though. A girl probably just be like, a nigga look pretty or yeah. a nigga look good. I don't know, pause though, but how many niggas do y'all know that just got lit off just the way they look? But I'm not talking about like getting lit because. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Obviously, just, some I'm, ugly. I was just trying to get some. I've ever seen that. I'm name. just saying, a girl could just. Be decently pretty. And yeah, just, decently pretty. But the thing what is, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it really just depends, bro. Because this niggas, to me, in my opinion, I know right now, mm-hmm. I'm not famous, but I know that a lot of bitches be on their dick. But if I became famous, I feel like I get the same treatment or more. But I'm just not famous. But it's hard. It would be harder for you to be famous than a girl that's just decently. No, nah, yeah, it's just harder. Yeah, because yeah. 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 a girl, you get on TikTok. Yeah, nigga, you never gotta have a talent. A girl, you could be pretty as fuck. Yeah, that's true. But now niggas get one hit wonders too. You might do something yeah, on YouTube or something. Yeah. Everybody and like for that. every five females that get famous, there's one nigga that'll get famous just yeah. for person. Nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. Personality. I ain't gonna lie to the thing though is like niggas do be having like more personality. Like I don't understand. Yeah, but like they don't get more than their personality. Yeah, personality yeah. is self for men and then sex yeah. self for women. But now, but girls with personalities and looks is just yeah. like they yeah. skyrocket. Yeah. That's not too nigga. I cannot tell right there. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is though. Like it's all like it's all like subjective. Yeah. Because yeah. people be like, man, I was friends with her in high school. She was just a bitch. Yeah, or a nah, but that be even niggas that just hate. Motherfuckers say I know him in real life. Yeah. That nigga's a hoe, man. Yeah. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Everybody yeah. different. Like, motherfuckers. I mean, niggas, everybody going eat. Nah. Especially if you discover. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. Nah, for real, nigga. Be crazy. So, so what color got to be the perfect lucky? Not discolored. Not because of the shirt. Color. I'm talking about being black. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I get that. I'm just confused. I thought you were black. I'm just saying, black niggas just hate each other, they hate on each other. So like, it's so crazy, bro. Like, yeah, no, it's easy to hate on another black person because they want to pull you down after you pull them. Yeah, yeah, but I don't oh, shit. I'm not no okay, badass man. So I'm to write down and pull up. <laughs> What's the name? I'm trying to write down. <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't know if I got anything else, bro. Y'all got anything you want to ask? Um, nah, man. Just let us know what y'all think, man. Any questions? Any suggestions? You know, we're going live, we're going to do all them reactions. We could do, do this one. It's not a big question. Say, uh, 
Who's your celebrity crush? I already told him I'm gonna lie. But I'm gonna let y'all answer. He's a capper. Go ahead. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Tammy's. Yeah, he done it. He said she's a 29 year old virgin. Still? Nigga, yes. Who said that? Nigga, she said it. Where is she from? I thought she was pregnant. No, no, she could have been. She could have been. She could have been. She could have She never. Nah, no, she never. She never. They said she was fucking with you. Sure. Has she ever been married? We can talk, then we can talk. A lot of bitches, Sherm. Sure. Alright, alright, guys, sorry. But, uh. She's a model. Our uh, podcast equipment was tweaking a little bit, so we wasn't able to finish. Yeah, yeah. We got everything out the way, anyways. Yeah. So. Nah, nah, we're cool. Everything, yeah, we got everything out the way. We appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all for the love and support. New Make guests us. coming soon. New guests oh, coming soon. Y'all got to give us suggestions. We're going live. We're going live twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week from now on. Oh God. Like, come subscribe. When we get the vibe, we on the road to 30k. Thank y'all for all the support.